I think this is important also to say on the air that uh, I have tinnitus, and I thought my tinnitus would drive me mad, and here, here, uh, the ringing in the ears, it never goes away. But you can become, uh, uh, become acclimatized uh, uh, to it, and I uh, have talked many people recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, talked people down from suicidal impulses because of the ringing in the ears by assuring them that uh, it'll get better. Uh, so suicide uh, is not a good idea for anybody. It, it's too... Uh, that's a final word. That's no compromise there. Thank you. How's that for a... That is actually uh, a big pick-me-up. That is something yeah. that people need to hear, particularly with well, some of the Well, that's why I said it, uh, that, there, that there's the, the, the last uh, thing you want to do is end it completely because there are ways of getting around it. Okay. That, that, you know, that resonates with me because we've just had a family tragedy where a 20-year-old grandson, a student at Gonzaga, uh, committed suicide. Oh. He had... Uh, an attachment disorder which often befalls adopted uh, children as he, and he was one and uh, we just couldn't get through it so his parents uh, Pam and Phil Martin have uh, founded a foundation and with the idea of particularly of young people trying to early identify and treat mental illness uh, I'm committed to it and uh, for those of you who have any interest in the subject I recommend that you visit our website which is radicalhopefoundation.org I don't often say these things on air, but this troubles me deeply, and I'd what like to find a What a wonderful solution. opportunity for you to be able to say that by something I've brought up for you to be able to maybe between us we can save a life. It wasn't prearranged, and I thank you. Uh, exactly. It wasn't prearranged, and I saw you looking at me, and I'm wondering why, and now I, I understand you were uh, wrestling with the idea of, uh, of saying something. I, I personally am so glad you said something.